tough phase for me. Uh, especially tough when you know that, you know, I started off the season batting reasonably well, batted well in Australia and felt at, at times I was luckless. And it uh, doesn't matter how many hundreds you score, you still have to, you know, put your head down, grind it out and, you know, do the job for the team. Were you thinking about the milestone? I was not, to be honest, you know, uh, precisely a year ago, when I got my 9900, no one spoke about it during the World Cup. And then it was, uh, I guess, the media who started all this and, you know, everywhere, wherever I went, to restaurant, the housekeeping, room service, <laughs> whoever met me just spoke about the 100th hundred and it became a little difficult mentally because, you know, I'm not playing for only for my 100th hundred. You know, the 9900 that I scored, nobody spoke about that. Everyone was talking only about 100th hundred and everyone had their opinions, but eventually I've got to do what uh, what is important for the team. Tell us what was going through your mind into the 80s, into the 90s. Uh, was it different this time around? It was slightly different because, uh, you know, A, I felt the ball was not coming onto the bat and when we, uh, I was talking with Virat, uh, he also felt the same and uh, something that we, we, the total that we had in mind was about 280, 275, 280, if, if we can get to that total, then it would be a good total on this track because uh, uh, I didn't bat much in the earlier match, but uh, what what Virat had to say is, uh, you know, this wicket is, is, is slower than the last one. Do you, do you realize what you have achieved? Because it may not be uh, ever achieved again by any mortal. No, I, it hasn't it ha hasn't sunk in, but I've definitely lost about 50 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> You look very sharp, very fit. Um, a child who is watching Sachin Tendulkar, who wants to be uh, a Sachin Tendulkar, what message do you have for that little kid? Enjoy the game and chase your dreams. I think uh, dreams do come true. I had to wait for one for 22 years. We won the World Cup after 22 years of international cricket. So dreams do come true. So don't, don't stop chasing your dreams. Well, you've been a fantastic ambassador for the game. Many congratulations and may you have another hundred more. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, Sachin. Thanks. Thank you.